guys, today we're going to take a look at my current EDC for 2020. EDC is everyday carry, the items that I carry on my person every day. And this year we've had a lot of changes. And so I know this is a very popular subject for a lot of people, so I thought we'd go ahead and do the 2020 EDC. All right, guys, 2020, I have made some significant changes to my EDC. And one of the things that we're going to just talk about right up front is, of course, the things that typically everyone carries. Uh, you know, you have your cell phone, and of course I have one of the iPhones, and I've been carrying this for years. I do like the Magpul covers. They protect it very well. And I've dropped mine a number of times, and they just seem to protect just perfectly. And so I like this. I keep carrying it. Now, one thing that I do, and I'm going to just show you, and I've gotten my boys to do this, and daughter, uh, to do this as well, is back here in the back, I always slip some cash back here and I don't really think about it. I try to keep it out of sight, out of mind, but if I ever need it, I've got money, cash money, right here in my phone. And so that to me, sometimes I don't necessarily carry cash, and so that's really important. Now, the other thing that I do carry is my billfold or my wallet. Now, for a long time, I was carrying a wallet that I had gotten in Tennessee at Rock City. It was a handmade leather wallet. I really liked it. A lot of people were asking about it, and I didn't really have anybody to refer them to. And so while I was down in Savannah, Georgia, a few months ago, a couple of months ago, I went into the Nine Line store, and they have a, an outlet store there, and I came across this wallet. It is the exact same design, and yet it's Nine Line, which I love. I love what they stand for. And so I switched to the Nine Line wallet. So you can get these at Nine Line, and you know, I'll have a link down below. They sell a lot of cool stuff, uh, but it's just a good leather, soft leather wallet. Now, you can decide if that's what you like, but for me, I like it. I like it very simple because it's just a bifold, and yet I put all my cards here, and then it has a little flap here to put my cash. And then it has places in the back here I can put different things as well. It's a minimal type wallet, and yet you can get a lot in here. So this to me is just a really great wallet. I love the way it feels. It fits just right in my pocket, and so this is my choice. Of course, keys. You know, we need our keys for our car, and of course, I have my Hummer key here. I have some different storage building, my shop key. Uh, I do carry a Griffin tool, and these are great. It's a little pry bar and has a lot of features to it. I'm really good friends with Casey over at Griffin Tools. He's a great guy. And check out Griffin Tools. Also have one of the small little Olights, and this is the I1R EOS. And even though it's small, it puts out a lot of light. And so this is a great little flashlight. I like to have one on my keychain, very small, because there are times where I need just something really handy. And then my ever-present key bar. Uh, guys, this is the all copper. <laughs> it's heavy, but I love it. I've had some of the aluminum models, and I love them. But just the copper and the way it wears, I just like it. It's nothing fancy, we'd always say. It just really hits the cool factor for me. Then I have one of the key bar magnets, and these are super magnets. I mean, they are super tough. And I was a little dubious about having these on here, but it just seems to retain the keys. And then we have the Exotac rings, the key rings. And I really like these because you can press it like this. And you can see it just opens up. These are the easiest to load, much better than this. <laughs> and this is the original. But I really like those Exotac little key rings. I mean, they are super fantastic. Super fantastic. In fact, I wouldn't be carrying it if it wasn't super fantastic. As far as my pocket knife, uh, I have switched to the Microtech LUDT. I've carried the zero tolerance knives for years, but this isn't automatic. This is a fantastic knife. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. It is super strong, and I just love this knife. This is my EDC knife. I carry it all the time. And I've been kind of back and forth over the past year or so because of Benchmade you know, giving, contributing to some of the kind of a left-leaning kind of organizations. It helps protect them, but not for gun owners. And so I just really uh, put my barrage away, which I've carried for a number of years. And guys, I'm telling you, this is a vast improvement. This is an incredible knife. If you've never had a Microtech, I highly recommend it. And of course, you've got to check your local laws and your precincts to make sure you can carry something like this. But here in South Carolina, we're allowed to. And I really love this knife. And um, I mean, I just love it. It's just an excellent knife. It's a little pricey. But for me, I'm carrying something every day. I want the best quality. And so that is one reason why I always carry a knife. And I'll tell you this. I have a good friend of mine. 
uh, lives up in Brevard, Dave Galloway, uh, and he is a, in law enforcement. He told me one time when he was a young kid, he said he got caught, his cousins took him and tied him up to a tree. And they were just playing around. They left him. And he slipped, and it got caught around his neck, and he started to choke. And he said, I had a pocket knife in my pocket. I pulled it out, cut myself free. He goes, from that day on, I've never been without a pocket knife. After hearing his story, I have never been without a pocket knife. Guys, this is the number one tool for a lot of things. It's really convenient, but it can get you out of a tough situation. And guys, having a knife, again, it's just critical for every day. And also, I'm carrying the Minuteman watch. This is a self-winding watch. has the uh, webbing for the strap. I just love this watch. A good friend of mine, JC, gave me this watch. And uh, it's just a minimal, lightweight watch. Guys, I love having it on my wrist because a lot of times we can use our phones, you know, to check our time. But for me, I like to stay off this thing as much as possible. And with this on my uh, wrist, it makes it really fast to be able to look down. Good quality watches. I do also have a BCM dive watch. Then I have one of the reactor watches. This is the Griffin. And that's also great. But this seems to be what I've been carrying almost every day here lately. And guys, I always have an O-Light in my pocket. Uh, having a good flashlight is just essential. If you haven't been carrying a flashlight, you don't realize how much you need a flashlight on an everyday basis. This is the S1R Baton. It is in the bronze color. I love this. And uh, guys, I'm telling you, this thing is freaking freakishly bright. And it's just an excellent, I think it's a thousand lumens on this flashlight. With this size, it takes one of the CR123s. Uh, Olight does a great job, and I really like having this in my pocket. I have trusted Olight uh, for the past eight years. I've been carrying an Olight EDC, and I've never had one to let me down. Uh, this is also rechargeable, has a little charging pad, that magnetic, that just pops on here. And so I love this little light. Now, guys, one thing that I've not always carried is a multi-tool. I mean, most of them are large and clunky, but I started carrying the Leatherman Squirt. Just It's so small. This is the PS4 model. There's a number of different ones. It's really handy, and you can bring it out. You've got a pair of pliers. You have some scissors. You have a file. You have a knife, uh, which is great for redundancy. I like to have an extra knife. And so I really like to have this in my pocket. I find I'm using it quite a bit. Uh, but again, guys, you know, it's one of those things where I've been kind of back and forth because I'm carrying so much already. But I always find a lot of uses for this little guy. And I do like to have a tactical pen. I'm always needing to write anyway. And so this gives me writing capability. And in places that I can't carry something for self-defense, I can always carry my tactical pen. And we have a little tip here to be able to use in a self-defense situation. Uh, and this one actually is a Maxpedition model, and I don't think they still make these. Uh, they made these for a while, I believe, and I'm not 100% positive. But this has been a great little tactical pen. But what I really like about it is it's so minimal, it's so small. And I have been carrying the Boker uh, 45 caliber. I like that one as well. But this one is just even smaller and lighter. Now, I know I go a little overboard, but I like to have some ability to start fire. And here I have one of the Exotac Strikers, and this is one of the Nano Strikers. There's the Striker, and then here we have our Fire Steel. And so there are times where I'm needing to build a fire, and we just like to have fires around for different things. Uh, while there are cheaper versions out there, Exotac to me it just is a cut above. And so I love Exotac, and so I'm carrying this. But there are a lot of other options out there. But, you know, a Bic lighter would be one. But one thing about a Bic lighter is that if you press down on the lever, uh, you can release all your gas, and then you have nothing except just the little striking. And so I really like to have something a little more optional. And, of course, I'm big on survival. So this also is an important element. Fire is the most important survival element we use. Uh, it can give you warmth, heat, it can cook your food, it can boil your water, boost your morale, keep predators at bay. I mean, it is just essential. Now we're going to step into our self-defense or our CCW or our concealed carry. And one thing that I have been doing for the past few months is the P365. I've just been carrying it pretty much straight up. I do carry some other firearms when I'm doing reviews or I'm testing things, but the P365 is just it's so small and yet it still has 10 rounds uh, i've carried the glock 26 for over 10 years and i still like the glock setup i like my 26 gen 5 excellent handgun 
but it's larger than the P365 and it still has the same amount of capacity. And then I carry a 12 round magazine to back it up. Now, one thing that SIG had some issues with before was they had some reliability issues. They had some strikers to break. There were some problems. But I put 2,500 rounds through this pistol without one malfunction. And so I have a lot of confidence in this pistol. And so this, that's the reason I carry it. And so for a while there, I didn't because I kept seeing problems. Uh, but mine has just been flawless. And so with that, I also have one of the Armor Guard Kydex holsters. And this is from Pete from the Armory Channel. Pete and I have been friends for a long time. And he sent me this. He started making holsters. One thing about Pete is he is very particular. And it shows in these holsters. They are so well finished. Uh, the precision, the molding. I love the clip choice. And this is just a super comfortable holster to wear for appendix or, you know, however you want to carry it. But for me, I like appendix. It's really fast to draw. And so this is just an excellent holster. And I highly recommend Pete over at the Armory Channel. And it's armorguardholsters.com. But we're going to be doing an upcoming review on this. And I have also one for my G19 Glock. And then something that I slip in my pocket regularly is the little North American Arms Pug. Uh, this is in 22 Magnum. has a nice grip to it. It's small, it fits down in my pocket, it even fits in the coin slot of my jeans. And it's so easy to have in your pocket. Uh, I have a good friend of mine that's a federal marshal, he told me that this is his get off me gun. <laughs> and ever since then, I've always had that in my mind. And guys, it's just such a great little pistol or revolver to have, and in 22 Magnum, you have some power behind it. Uh, but this is something up close and personal. It's so easy to carry. I don't carry this all the time, but I do carry it regularly. And it does have night sights on the front. So that makes it even that much more effective. Now guys, all this would be great, but if you don't have a good solid belt, uh, your, your pants are gonna be hanging around <laughs> your ankles. And so one thing that I've used for many years, and this one in particular, is a Daltec Force bull leather belt. In fact, I believe this one is about nine years old, maybe 10 years old. Uh, and it's funny because I have other bull leather belts from Daltec Force, but I, this one's so comfortable. For daily wear, I typically wear this belt. But for other things, I do love the Core Essentials belts. Now for Sunday, I have some nice leather dress belts that I like to wear. Uh, this is one more for tactical use, so if I'm going to any kind of training class or going to any kind of competitive shoot, I'm going to use one of these belts uh, that has the webbing. But what I love about these belts, here you have your lock, and all you have to do is just press up, and this just pulls loose. And so it just goes right in, and then you hear that ratchet system. This thing, you can lock this down to exactly the position that you want it in, the, the tightness against your waist, especially if you're concealed carrying. And the one thing about this is it has a lot of rigidity, and so it's not going to waver. In fact, I did a full review on these belts, and guys, they're just top-notch. And so I've been very impressed with Core Essentials, and I've seen a lot of reviews out there where a lot of people are excited about Core Essentials. And so this is my belt that I wear again for tactical, for classes, and things like that. But for just standard every day, the bull leather belt's hard to beat. Now guys, one thing that I don't have right on me because I was doing something in a survival pack is the Filster Medical Kit. It has compression gauze that's in a little sleeve. You can slip it into your pocket of your cargo pants. And it has a cat tourniquet that's also in a holster, and you can slip that in the other one. And we always carry those to the range. And so that's one thing that I think is important to have a trauma kit close at hand, especially if you like to shoot, and especially if you're carrying a gun as a self-defense option, because you could find yourself in a situation where you need to treat yourself or others. And so I really like having trauma kits close by. I do keep a couple also in my vehicle. So guys, that is my EDC for 2020. Uh, we'll see how it evolves for next year, but this is what I'm carrying. And guys, again, it is an ever evolving thing. And so while you're planning your EDC, it's great to think it out. It's great to be wise with it. And guys, you don't, again, you don't have to carry all this stuff, but make sure that you have your essentials. But guys, I'm almost embarrassed to say that this weighs four pounds, 10.2 ounces. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. But guys, this is what I carry. 
So guys, having those few items with you can make life even more convenient, but also can be really important in a serious situation. And so make sure you have your EDC tidied up, ready to go. You know, invest a little more in your EDC. It's something, again, that you carry with you at all times. If you're building your EDC, hopefully this will help give you some ideas. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. So it's a minimal type holster. And so this has been, this has really been a great, so guys, that's about, so guys, that's about, now, okay. now one thing that I will, now one thing that I do need to add to it is I do carry a first aid kit and I, I know some people are going to look at this video and go every day crazy. What you carrying all that crap for? <laughs> hey, be unprepared if you want. <laughs>